When production ended in 2008, this historic building became an art space. In this former weaving shed, one of the godfathers of graffiti, New York street artist George Murillo, is creating a striking piece of work in collaboration with Leeds artist Nicholas Dixon. We decided to do something different, which was I would do the graffiti style outlines that I bring back from back in the 80s from New York, and he would do what he does as the fill-in. So that way we didn't have to um, step on each other's toes. We could still do our own thing, but at the same time have it really intertwined. And look, it came out pretty amazing, pretty unique. George began spraying subway trains at 12. Early 80s New York was bankrupt and violent, and in that tough environment, kids created their own subculture. It was a fighting generation. All we did was fight each other. I mean, it was like a two-second rule. You couldn't even look at somebody for more than two seconds in New York, you get into a fight. So it was really like a hectic time. So what we did was we created the elements so that you could battle each other with the same intensity, same anger, the same aggression, without ever having to touch each other. Graffiti was once seen as vandalism, now it hangs in galleries. There may have been a shift in attitudes to this art form, but the huge respect for George and his work has remained constant. When George was running around the subways in, uh, in New York, running for his life sometimes, I was rolling around my, uh, my mum's front room trying to perfect the windmill, smashing into ornaments and, uh, and whatnot. So to, to be here all these years later painting with uh, a yeah, legend like, uh, like George is and such a lovely guy, it's, uh, it's a privilege and uh, an honour. George and Nicholas are from very different worlds but share a passion for graffiti. They've helped transform this former weaving mill. They next plan to do something in Brooklyn. Charlotte Leeming, BBC Look North, Leeds.